what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm maddie i run edtech classroom the blog podcast and of course youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing how to search for and add additional fonts to your google products like google docs and google slides I oftentimes hear from teachers that one of the biggest downsides of using a Google product like Google Slides, for example, is that you don't have the ability to upload fonts. And while this is still true, I am going to share with you a very handy trick that not a lot of teachers realize you can do, and that's how to search for additional fonts in the Google Font Library to add to Docs and Slides. So without further ado, let's get started. Right now we are in Google Docs and I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to search for and add additional Google fonts to Docs here. Now I do want to point out that you actually do have the ability to walk through this exact same process in Google Slides as well. So even though I'm using Google Docs for the purposes of today's video, you can follow these directions to do this in Google Slides as well. So the way we are going to get started in searching for and then adding additional fonts to Google Docs is I'm gonna get started by clicking on this button right here that is the font menu. This is where you typically click to go to just change your font regularly. You'll see that if I scroll down here, these are all of the different fonts that I've added to my Google Docs. Yours likely, if you've never done this before, is going to have fewer fonts and they're probably going to look a little bit more um, generic or typical rather than some of these funky fun fonts that you see on my screen here. Now the way that we are actually going to search for new fonts is within this font menu. We're going to click on this button up at the top here that says more fonts. So when I click on more fonts, you'll see that this bigger font menu or font library appears on our screen. If I scroll down on this home page, you'll see that I can actually click on any of these fonts that are unselected in order to add them to my Google font library here or my Google Docs font library. So that is how you would go about just searching for a random font. You can actually click on these to add them or import them into your Google fonts after you press the OK button. But let's actually take a look at how to search for fonts that are more specific or go for the look that you're actually hoping to achieve with your font. So if we look at this search menu right here, this is where we can actually type in a specific font name that we're looking for. So let's say that there is a specific font that you've heard someone else use that you really like and you wanna add it to your Google Docs. You can search for that font here in this search menu. So for example, let's type in, um, I'm just gonna type in one of these on the screen here. If I type in this one, you'll see that all of the fonts that have this name here have appeared. This is the one that I was looking for, but actually I'll look and see here, there are lots of funky kind of fun fonts that I could add as well. Let's say I wanted to add this bubbles one, I could click on it and when I press okay, it's going to be added. So that is how you actually search for a specific font. At the end of this video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite fonts that I've added to, um, to my Google Docs and Google Slides. So if you like one of those fonts, you can actually search for that in your own Google Docs and Slides for you to be able to use that font as well. Now let's say that you want to refine your search. Maybe you don't have a specific font name that you're looking for, but maybe there's a type of font that you have in mind. I'm just gonna delete that text here and we're gonna look under scripts. If I click on scripts, you'll see that this is going to give us different scripts that we can potentially be searching for. I'm just gonna keep this selected under all. Under here, you can click on this drop down menu and it's actually going to give you different categories of fonts. So right now, all fonts are selected here in this random order. However, I can search for, let's say I wanna look for a font that looks like handwriting. I can click on that and now you'll see all of these different fun fonts that look like handwriting. So I can click on one of these, let's say I really like this architect's daughter font, I can click on it and then later when I press OK, it's going to be added to my library. Now right now the order it is in is, it's being sorted by popularity, so the fonts that have been downloaded the most. But if I click on this drop down menu, you can also search um, alphabetically by the date added or trending fonts. 
Um, so that's another way that you can kind of refine your search as you are looking for additional fonts to add. If I click on this drop down menu one more time to look for the different font type or the different font category, you can also look for fonts that are, you know, like sans serif fonts, for example, or I could look for serif fonts. So that's another way that you can also refine your search a little bit more. Then once you have added the fonts that you would like to have included in your Google Docs, you can go ahead and press this OK button. And now if we click on this drop down menu, you'll see that the fonts that we have added are now appearing here for us to use. So I just added this architect's daughter font. So if I click on it, I can begin typing and you'll see that it is typing using that fun font. Now what we're going to do now that we've looked at how to search for and then add these additional fonts to Google Docs, let's take a look at some of my favorite Google fonts. So right now I'm just going to go through um, a bunch of different favorite fonts that I have in Google. This is actually a Google Slides presentation that I put together just to show you that you can also add these fonts to Google Slides as well. So this is the Architect's Daughter font that we just added in the previous portion of this video. I also really like this Barrio font. I like this Bubblegum Sans font. I like this Bungie Shade font. This Century Gothic. Chelsea Market. Chewy. This one's really fun, I think. Dancing Script. This is one of my favorite um, cursive or script fonts here. Delius, I think is how you say that. Freckle Face. Happy Monkey, this is a great font. I use it in a lot of my Teachers Pay Teachers products. Homemade Apple, another fun handwriting font or cursive font. We have this Lifesavers font. Love You Like a Sister. Luckiest Sky, this is another really popular font. I see it on Canva a lot as well. Uh, Margarine, this is a fun font. McLaren, another fun font. Patrick Hand, Poppins, Quicksand, Ranchers, Ribeye, Ribeye Marrow, Rochester, Rum Raisin, Spicy Rice, and Special Elite. So these are some of my favorite Google fonts that if you would like to um, search for these, and now that I've walked you through how to actually search for specific font names, uh, at, when you go through the process of adding them, you can actually write these down and search for them later when you are going to add your own fonts to your Google Docs and your Google Slides. One thing that I do want to point out before I end off today's video is that some of the fonts that I included as part of my favorite fonts are a little bit more difficult to read and accessibility is always something that we should be keeping in mind as educators. So consider that when you are looking into which fonts you should share with your students. Thank you so much for watching today's video all about how to add more fonts to your Google Docs and your Google Slides. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye friends.